Hey, everybody. Welcome to tonight's Learn Canadian English live stream. I'm teacher Ian. Welcome, everybody. If you're watching live and if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching. Uh, but before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that Right Start Newcomer Services conducts business in Chibuktuk, which is how you say Halifax in the Mi'kmaq language. This city is part of the ancestral, unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. This means that when settlers arrive, the Indigenous people did not surrender their territory and instead signed treaties with Europeans. As a business, we're committed to upholding these treaties as we work to settle newcomers um, into Halifax. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. Say hello. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? I know... Times are tough. It's a it's a stressful time for everybody, but just let me know how you're doing in the comments section, and we'll see who is here tonight. Uh, Nancy is here. Hey, Nancy. Nice to see you again. Hope everything's well where you are uh, and that you are happy and safe. Uh, hi, Sakaina. Welcome back. Uh, good evening. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I forget where you are, Sakaina. Um, if you can just remind me, that would be great. And Pilar is back. Hey, Pilar, welcome back. We missed you in the last lesson. Uh, neither you or Christian were there, but that's okay. Uh, you will be forgiven. Okay, and Beatrice. Hey, Beatrice, welcome back. How are you? Uh, hopefully all your plans are coming through for you to move to Vancouver soon. And I think that's, that's happening in the next few months, right? Um, sorry, my face is a little red. I was just out for a run. Pardon my appearance. I, I should go back to a normal color, hopefully pretty soon. Uh, and Isai is here. Hey, Isai, welcome. Uh, nice to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Uh, so nice. We have a nice uh, community here. Everybody says hello to each other and everybody is very polite. And that's what I love to see. Okay. Uh, anybody else is coming? Just, just say hello when you get here. Uh, today we have a, a very good lesson, I hope. Today we're going to talk about small talk, and if you're interested, I'd like to invite some of you uh, onto the live stream, so that will be later on, but if you want to come on, chat with your fellow classmates, that would be great, and since we're doing small talk, it's a perfect opportunity for you to come and practice your small talk. So that will take place in the last half of the class, probably around 7, 7.15, for the last 15 or 20 minutes of the program. So um, that's the plan for today. Uh, how was your day? It was good. I mean, I worked, worked my job all day, worked on my business a little bit, and then I went for a run. So pretty busy, but you know, I can't complain. You know, I, I like my job and I like my business and I love running. So it was a good day for me. Uh, okay, Beatrice loves that. That's awesome. So stick around, Beatrice. Uh, I'll send you guys the link. And once you get that link, you'll be able to join in on the live stream. Okay, great. And Christian's here. Hey, Christian, buddy. Welcome back. Um, you missed last class, but that's okay, right? I, I don't get mad if you guys miss a class or two or three or all of them. It's totally up to you, however many classes you guys want to attend. Awesome, let's get going. So we have lots of time for speaking practice later. All right, so our plan is we're gonna do our discussion. We're gonna go over some appropriate small talk topics and, and ones that are not so appropriate. Go over a few tips. Uh, I think there are 10 quick tips. We're gonna practice a lot today asking questions because that's probably the biggest skill for making small talk, is being able to ask questions to sustain the conversation and keep it going. Or else you just say one thing and then you don't have any questions and the conversation is over. So we're gonna be practicing questions. And then like I said, we're gonna bring in some students and we're gonna get some practice. I can have up to 10 people on the live stream at the same time but probably not that many people will want to join, but you never know. I'm hoping for four or five students, and I think that would be great. All right, let's get going. So uh, I wanna hear your opinions. So on these four questions, number one, do you like small talk? 
Why or why not? Number two, who do you make small talk with? Number three, what is your favorite small talk topic? And number four, why is small talk important? All right, so uh, I wanna hear your answers to some or all of these questions. Let's just take three or four minutes and see what you have to say about these questions. And by the way, if you're not sure what small talk is, it's just short little conversations about topics that are not that important. So maybe talking about the weather, talking about your weekend, um, maybe what you had for dinner last night. Those are small talk topics and they take place all the time. We, we have a lot of small talk with, for me, um, I make small talk with people in my building. You know, when I see them in the lobby or the elevator, I make small talk with my coworkers. I make small talk with even family, like my, my wife's side of the family, my family. Um, who else do I make small talk with? My students and, and my clients a lot. So pretty much anybody I talk to. Uh, once in a while at the store, I'll make small talk with people um, like uh, I see my friends at Costco and stuff and, and we make small talk together. So anyway, that's who I make small talk with. And does anybody else have an answer for any of those questions? Okay, Pilar, thank you, Pilar. Uh, I used to make small talk. I think you see the spelling mistake there. Talk at parties. Remember when we used to go to parties? Uh, two years ago or more when we went to parties. And yeah, you get invited to parties. You make small talk with people you know there or that you meet at the party. Um, so perfect. Yeah, we unfortunately, there aren't too many parties these days. But hopefully soon, COVID will hopefully go away and we'll have lots of parties again. Okay, thank you so much, Pilar. Uh, I love small talk. I love talking with everybody. I honestly don't mind talking to strangers after talking a little. They are not strangers anymore. Okay, that's great. That's a good way to look at it, right? Some people are scared of small talk and they say, I don't know this person, they're a stranger. But after a while, they're your friends. And you can think of a stranger as a future friend. Okay, topics, weather, place of birth, family, Wonderful icebreaker for me. So yeah, talk about family, that's great. Weather is very easy. In Canada, we love to talk about the weather, so that's a safe, easy thing to talk about. And here in Nova Scotia, it's always different. Like uh, Beatrice, you're going to Vancouver, so Vancouver gets a lot of rain. You can talk a lot about the rain and say, why does it rain so much? Uh, but here in Nova Scotia, it's like rain, wind, snow, sunny, all in the same day. So we never run out of things to talk about. Okay, thank you very much, Beatrice. That's wonderful, uh, a wonderful answer. That's great. I like to talk. So Sukaina, so let's say I like to talk about foods. Yes, everybody's got to eat. And everybody, I think everybody likes food, pretty much. I mean, 99% of people like food. So that's a good way to connect with somebody. Talk about foods. What do you like to eat? What do you like to make? Uh, what's your favorite kind of food, something like that. So, so kind of that's great. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Great. Uh, not really. Sometimes I feel at least here in Colombia, small talks are more like gossip. Yeah, we will talk about that a little bit. And if you don't know the word gossip, it means talking about somebody usually in a negative way. So, oh, did you hear what Christian did on the weekend? He went to Europe without his wife. Remember that? Remember when we were joking about that, you guys? Uh, anyway, yeah, gossip's no good. We don't want to say anything negative about somebody else. Um, and gossip's not really a recommended thing that we would make small talk about. Okay, thanks, Christian. Hopefully you remember that joke. Uh, I wasn't saying, Pilar, that he went to Europe actually by himself. All right, Sakaina, uh, small talk helps us to build relationships. I like that a lot. Um, 
And if you don't like small talk, remember that you are building relationships. <laughs> Rancouver, yeah, uh, definitely. Topics, weather, food, that's great. Awesome, so we're gonna move on. Uh, I think we all know that small talk's important. Some of us like it more than others, but I think with a little practice, we can all get pretty good at small talk. All right, so what are the best small talk topics? We talked about that a little bit. So food, weather, family, are there any other small talk topics that we can use to make conversations with people? And if you can't think of any, uh, I've got some pictures here that might give you a hint. Sure, traditions, I mean, that's great. So especially you can talk about cultural stuff. So, I mean, you might meet somebody in Canada from Canada and they're really interested in your culture. So you can talk about your culture. Even if you meet somebody from a different culture, that's a great way to, to break the ice. Talk about your traditions, maybe holidays, um, things like that, that somebody is going to be really interested in. Uh, yeah, your birthplace, right? Where you were born. So if you're born in Mexico, People love to hear about where you're from, from your perspective, because maybe they want to travel there someday. And you can give them special insider tips about the, the place of your birth. So that's great, Beatrice. I like those. Uh, networking. So yeah. So, I mean, networking is what you're doing, right? You're, you're meeting people, you're networking. Uh, by the way, we have a lesson on networking on Thursday. Sports. Yeah, so if you're into sports, they're into sports, that's a great topic of conversation because people love sports. I mean, not everybody loves sports, but if I love hockey, I really love hockey and I want to talk about hockey all day long. So if you can find that one connection with the person, you like the same sport, you can talk about that for hours and hours. Great, so hobbies, exactly. Uh, thank you, Christian, that's great. Pets. People love their pets. They love looking at pictures of pets. Yeah, people love pets, you know, as if they're part of the family. Uh, so that's great, Sakaina. Thank you. Animals, weather, sports, places. Yeah, travel is a good one. So I put a picture of the, the one of the pyramids in Egypt. That's great. People love to hear about vacations. Uh, don't do it too much because it sounds like you're bragging. If you always have a new place that you went and say, oh, I was in Egypt, I was in Greece, I was in Mexico, I was in Colombia, then people might feel that you're bragging. But if they're interested in travel too, then that's a great topic to talk about. Uh, hi, Sussy, welcome back. And Sussy says, pets, travel, hobby, sports, those are all excellent, safe topics. Um, here, you know, one, is, one of them is shopping. Maybe that's a hobby for some people. Another one is movies. Another is family, um, food, as we said, pets. All of those things are good, safe, excellent small talk topics. And basically, that's what I said here. Uh, I said celebrity gossip because I saw that on a website. But that's, you know, talking about celebrities. Uh, oh, did you hear what Tom Cruise did? Or who else is a celebrity these days? Bieber. Did you try any Bieber balls from Tim Hortons? Um, I think we talked about that in another show. Uh, anyway, what are the worst topics? And these are topics that we should avoid. We should not mention them. We should not bring them up and use them in our small talk conversations. And here's a few hints. Okay, Christian, are you laughing at the Bieber balls? Tim, Tim Biebs, I think they're called, not Bieber balls. Sorry, that's 
disgusting. Tim Beebs are these little donuts that you can get at Tim Hortons. I will not put one of those in my mouth. I'll tell you that much. Uh, anyway, what are some small talk topics that we don't really want to discuss? All right, so Sukaina answered first here, politics and religion. So those are, you know, you don't want to bring them up with somebody you don't know very well because somebody might hate Justin Trudeau. Maybe you like him, maybe you hate him, but that other person might really not like them. Then you've got an argument, right? Why do you like him? Oh, I think he's so good. No, he's the worst. What are you talking about? I hate you. All right, so you don't want to have that kind of situation. Um, politics, religion, exactly. Politics, religion, love fails. Yeah, so you don't want to talk about your problems with love and relationships, right? So you don't want to say, oh, I had the worst relationship and my, my husband left me and blah, blah, blah because it's awkward and people don't know to feel sorry for you or to, I don't know, you just want to keep it light and easy. So it can be a very negative thing to talk about. All right. Thank you, Sussy. And Christian said gossip, money, politics, religion, and faith. Yeah, those are things we don't really want to talk about. Uh, death, for sure. Complaining. Okay. Complaining's a good one. I mean, that's that's something that everybody does, right? We all complain about something. Maybe the weather, maybe taxes, maybe the government, maybe something. We all do it, but maybe not to people we don't know very well, right? I complain to my wife. I complain to my family and my mother and my friends, but not to somebody we don't know very well. So we do it, but not for small talk. Okay, thank you very much, Sakaina. That's great. Talking about yourselves. I mean, yes, we have to, right? When we talk about, you know, family, we're talking about ourselves and our family. When we're talking about hobbies, we talk about our hobbies and our interests. But talking too much about yourself can be bad. So that's why we want to ask a lot of questions. And that's why we're going to practice questions later. So we don't have to always just talk about ourselves. All right, that's awesome. Government, relationships. I mean, relationship, that's that's family, right? Right, we have relationships with our family, our husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. It's okay to talk about it a bit, but when you go on and on, oh, I'm so in love and we're so happy and we're, we've been in love for so long. I mean, who really cares? how long you've been in love and how much you're in love and what your wife did and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, keep it short. You can talk about relationships, but not too much and don't make it boring for the other person. Okay. Um, the other one there, somebody reading a newspaper, you want to be careful with news, especially today. You know, things like war, COVID, that type of thing. It can cause a lot of pain for the other person. So you want to be very careful what topics and the news you would discuss. Okay. Uh, taxes, I get ballistic. Let's say go ballistic. And I like that expression, Christian. Just say I go ballistic with that topic. Ball go ballistic means you go crazy. Um, I could talk about taxes for a long time. And it's not a bad thing to talk about taxes with somebody or, or finances, um, but you know, maybe limit the amount of time you would talk about it. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, so kind of appearance. So we don't want to comment really on somebody's appearance because we need to be very careful because they might take it the wrong way. So if I say someone looks tired, they take it as in, they don't look good. If I say someone looks good, maybe they take it like I am hitting on them or trying to pick them up romantically, right? So you have to be very careful about commenting or asking about somebody's appearance. 
and it's very different from culture to culture, right? So saying somebody looks, I don't know, fat in one culture might not be so bad, but in, you know, Canadian culture, it's really bad. Uh, if you say somebody looks tired in one culture, maybe it's not bad. In Canada, it's, it's not a very nice thing to say. So don't comment too much on appearances, but you can give a compliment and say, oh, nice glasses, or I like your shoes, where did you get them? Or, oh, cool, cool watch. Is that an Apple watch, right? So it's okay to comment on the things, but not so much someone's looks or appearance. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And that's a great suggestion. So kind of. All right, so these are things we don't talk about. Appearance, personal gossip, death, finances, religion, politics, offensive jokes. So be very careful. You don't say anything to offend somebody. And what might be acceptable as a joke in one culture may not be acceptable in another. That one there, narrow topics is very a small topic or a very small interest. Let's say, for example, I love video games, but I, I go to make a conversation with somebody about video games and they don't like video games. But I keep going, talking just about video games and I know that they don't care about video games. And that would be a bad idea. Uh, past relationships, health. Health in that you don't really want to complain about bad health. And you don't want to say how healthy you are because that person may not have good health. So it's better to avoid health altogether. Okay. Let's quickly go through some small talk tips. And then we're going to practice asking questions about these different topics. So number one tip is to be prepared. Have something that you can talk about, right? So I don't know if you wanna write down questions or topics, but have an idea that if you meet somebody at a party, you could talk about this topic, okay? Uh, and you might wanna practice asking questions in English, just so you know that you have four or five or six good questions that you can ask somebody. Number two, ask lots of questions. Number three, make sure the person wants to talk. Because sometimes we try to make small talk with somebody, they don't want to talk to us. So make sure that that person is interested and look at their body language and listen to how long their answers are. If they're giving you one or two word answers and they're not asking you questions, maybe they don't want to talk to you. And that's fine. Uh, number four, smile, be friendly, be interested in that person. So watch them, look at them, don't use your phone and text somebody while you're talking to them. Be interested, focus, pay attention on that person. Sorry, pay attention to that person. Number six, pretend you're talking to a friend. So this is kind of like what Beatrice said before. After a while, they become your friends. So just pretend that they're your friend in the beginning and you'll be more comfortable. Number seven, try to learn their name. And it's okay to ask someone to repeat their name. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Could you repeat your name? What's your name? People like to say their name and hear their name. So try to learn their name. Yeah, and ask them to repeat it a couple times and that's okay. Number eight, don't make assumptions. Um, assumption means that you're guessing something about that person. For example, uh, maybe you meet me, we don't know each other, and you ask me, you know, the one that bothers me is about children, because a lot of students ask me if I have kids, and, you know, I say no, and then they say, why not? Why don't you want children? You should have children. Children are the best. Children do this. Children do that. You know what? I don't really want children. And... Don't think that everybody wants children, right? So that one bothers me a little bit, um, but there are lots of assumptions we can make about someone's sexuality, about their gender, about their interests, about their age. So try not to assume you know somebody. Um, I mean, some things you can ask, but some things you only ask after some time, like about someone's sexuality, 
Maybe you never ask, or you only ask them if you're a close friend. Okay, number nine, give a compliment. Like I said about their, their shirt or their watch or their, their bag or their shoes, that's fine, but generally not about appearances. And number 10 is don't touch someone when you first meet them because some people don't want to touch, especially with COVID, people want to keep their distance. So I know some cultures are very touchy. Canadians are not really like that with people that we don't know well. Okay, great. Uh, Pilar is very important, the small talk in all Canada, because in Colombia, it is different between cities. So I would say yes. I mean, it is important. Um, Definitely, you know, when you start work, you have to make small talk with your coworkers. Um, when you move into a new location, you want to meet people maybe from your community, from, from Canada, from all around. So I would say, yeah, I, I think it is important everywhere you go, Pilar. Okay, great question, though. Awesome. All right, let's practice. So I'm giving you the topic. And I want you to make a question about this topic that you can ask the other person. Maybe it's not exactly a question, but something to get them talking about the weather. So for each one, just give me one question or one icebreaker, one conversation starter that you could say to somebody. Uh, and then I have a few that I'll share and then we'll go to the next topic. Oh, hi, Ibtisam. Uh, what is your best season? I like that question. Uh, welcome to the live stream, Ibtisam. What is, you mean, you know, Canada or province that you're living in? Um, maybe we want to say favorite season. So what is your favorite season? And then you can ask that to, to anybody anywhere. Uh, yeah, good question. My favorite season, I think, is summer. You know, I like the heat. I like the sun. I like the long days. So if to some great question, I'm going to say summer. Uh, you're very welcome. That's great. Beatrice, how is it like living in Halifax during winter? I've never seen the snow. Um, so let's say what. What is it like? Or if you don't say like, you can say how is it? How is it living in Halifax during winter? Okay, um, so what is it like living in Halifax during winter? It's not that great, actually. Uh, you know, this winter was bad. Other winters were not too bad that I can remember, but this winter it's been icy, it's been cold, it's been snowy. It's, it's been hard to, to exercise and run. So this winter has been bad, but usually Beatrice, it's not that bad, but the snow is beautiful. Uh, especially like the first one or two snows of the season, everybody's happy. And then the third or fourth or fifth snow, people are sick of it. So it's beautiful, but it's not my favorite. I, I think you're better off in Vancouver for winter actually. Uh, what's it doing out there? Okay, great question, Sukaina. And we might ask this if somebody was just outside or they're sitting by the window and I say, what's it doing out there? And they say, oh, it's raining or it's, it just started to snow or it's 30 degrees out. So great question, great conversation starter, Sukaina. Uh, hey, Lorraine, it is really cold today. Don't you think so? Yeah. I mean, in Halifax, it was warm. Um, but yeah, generally, you could say it's cold, don't you think? Or you could say it the Canadian way, Lorraine, and just say, instead of don't you think so, we could just say, A. So you could say, cold out, A, or nice day, A. So that's, that's how a lot of Canadians will ask that type of question. 
Okay, great. But anyway, good question. Yeah, it was it was it was fairly cold. Uh, thank you, Lorraine. That's awesome. Favorite season, exactly. Of December, you got it. Uh, it's a nice day today, isn't? Very good, Christian. You're just missing it. It's a nice day today, isn't it? So you got to put that it at the end. It's a nice day, isn't it? And then, yeah, same, very similar to Lorraine's. Nice day, rainy day, cold day, something like that. Okay, great job, Christian. Uh, which activities do you like to practice in winter? That's great, except the word practice. I would say do. What activities do you like to do in winter? And then that's a, that's a great icebreaker. Um, I like to run. I like to ski sometimes. Um, I like to, what do I like to do in winter? Stay inside. Uh, yeah, but anyway, good question if to some, just instead of practice, we'll say do. Uh, when summer, when start summer in your city? Okay, great question, Sussy. You just have to say, when does summer start? Okay, one more time. When does summer start in your city? Okay, so you're just missing uh, a couple words there. Summer starts, I think in Canada, it's June 21st. I think June 21st is the first day of summer, but you know, the weather starts to get nice around April. So hopefully April and on will be summer-like. Okay, great job, Sussy, great question. And then here are some other things you could say. You could say, I heard it's going to snow this weekend, or I heard it's going to rain tomorrow. And talking about the weather forecast is very good. So a nice day, A. I love the snow or rain or sun. What about you? Okay, so we practiced some weather questions. Let's practice a little bit about work. So what can you say to break the ice with somebody about work or school. I mean, if you're a student, that's kind of like work. Perfect, Sussy, that's great. Where do you work, All right? That's probably one of the first questions somebody is going to ask you. Where do you work? They're looking for the company you work for. So perfect question, um, that's great. And we have to talk about work. Okay, uh, you don't have to, right? But it's, I'd say it's one of the more common questions you're gonna get when you meet somebody I'd say the first two or three questions, somebody's gonna ask you, what do you do or where do you work? So just be prepared for that. You don't have to talk about work for sure. Um, so here's some that I thought of, what do you do? Where do you work? How do you like it? Anything interesting happening at work, right? So people are always looking for interesting stories. You can tell them about an exciting project you're working on or something funny or, or interesting that has happened. Uh, so kind of, yeah, that's great. How's work going? Perfect. Maybe you know them a little bit. So you know where they work, you know what they do. So you can just ask, how's work going? Uh, that's great. Okay, how much do you earn? Just joking. Ah. Um, so yeah, we said finances are something that you want to talk about. This is an okay question later. So after you get to know the person well and your friends, then you can talk about money. Um, but yeah, you're right that you wouldn't want to bring that up right at the start. Yeah, so where do you work? What do you do there? And that's great, Beatrice. Um, 
it has been a tough week, A, eh? or it could be, uh, what do you do for a living? Yeah. So Christian, uh, I'm glad you said it that way. So what do you do for a living is the same as what do you do, right? It's just a different way of asking it. So what do you do for a living? It's been a tough week. So we're connecting with the person. That's really good, Christian. I, I like that question. Okay, so that was work. Let's move on. Talk a little bit about family. What are some questions you could ask about family? This is one you have to be a little careful because you might not want to ask if someone is married or in a relationship because they might feel like you're it's not your business, or you might be interested in them in a romantic way. So careful how you word this question. Oh, I like that, Lorraine. Uh, do you have siblings? So you're asking about brothers or sisters. Great word, Lorraine. Siblings, 1B. So sib, S-I-B-L-I-N-G-S. Uh, only one B in siblings. And other than that, that's a perfect question. So do you have siblings? People like to talk about their brother, sisters, um, or if they're an only child, then you can talk about that a little bit. So that's a great question. And I didn't think of that one, Lorraine. All right. Um, yeah, so that's a good one, especially if you know the person is maybe new, new in Canada or new in the city. Do you have any family in, let's say, in this city? And that's a great question. I guess you could say that for anybody, right? So, you know, I'm, I'm from Nova Scotia, but my family lives in another city. So I guess I don't really have family in the city. Well, I have an uncle and an aunt and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's that's a really good question. And I didn't think of that one, Sussy. So great job. I like it. Beatrice, how is your family adapting to the city? So this is good if they're new. Adapting means that they're new in the place. Um, 1B. So let's spell it like this, Beatrice. Uh, adapting. So just 1D. And that's a great question. But you would only ask that if they're new. All right. Um, so kind of, how was your family? Did something happen to them? Why did you use the past tense? Um, so probably, how is your family? If I know that you have a family, I will ask, how is your family? Or if you're asking about when you were young. Right. So how was your family when you were young? How what was it like growing up in your family? And then you could use the past. OK, so that would be a good one. I think so. Uh, all right. Eptisem, I believe this city is very interesting for kids, isn't it? Uh, and then I see your next comment. Obviously, I know he or she has kids. Yeah. So if you maybe both have kids. That's a great thing to talk about. Talk about kids, what your kids like to do, activities in the city for kids. Then that's a really good topic of conversation because you want to know too. And you might be new in that place. So you can talk about the best places to take their kids. Uh, and then you can even make a, not a date, but it's called a play date, right? So the kids can go play together and you can sit and talk to them while your kids play with each other. Okay, so that's a great topic if you know that they have kids. All right, pets, you know, ask, do you have any pets? Uh, do you have kids? What's your brother like, husband, wife, if you know that they're married, you can ask about a particular family member. All right, I think two more and then we're gonna have our, our talk. We still have about 20 minutes, so that's great. Let's do this one and then we'll get to our conversation. So. What could you ask about food? And remember, everybody needs food. We like food. What could you mention to bring up the topic of food?
Uh, again, you might not know, is the person vegetarian? Do they have an allergy? Maybe they have an eating disorder. So I guess, you know, some people might not be comfortable talking about food, but, you know, like I said, 99% of people are. And coffee, people like to talk about coffee in Canada. In Canada, I heard coffee is the number one drink, followed by beer. So you can talk about coffee and beer. It's okay. Oh, that's a good question. I like that, Christian. Do you like exotic food? So if you're not, if you don't know the word exotic, it means from somewhere else, from another country, maybe something a little bit strange like kangaroo or snake or something, fish eggs, or something that you don't normally eat. So I like that question, Christian. That's really great. Um, where can I find the best hamburger in the city? Great question, Ebdesam. But don't use past. You want to say, where can I find the best hamburger in the city? Great question. If the person has been there long enough to know where the best hamburger is. So you can ask about a particular food, um, especially if you know that person likes hamburgers. And if you know they like hamburgers and you like hamburgers, then you can talk about hamburgers all day long. Uh, okay, great. Um, thank you, Ebtisam. Are you vegan? Okay, it's kind of personal, but uh, yeah, you could ask that. Maybe because they're eating something, right? You see their food and they're only eating salad. And then maybe it makes you ask, are you vegan? And yeah, you can talk about that for a while. Okay, great. Good question, Christian. Uh, what do you recommend me to try from his or her country? That's a good one, right? So if they're born in Canada, you can ask about Canadian food. If they're born in Thailand, you can ask about Thai food. I like that one a lot. That's a great question, Beatrice. Okay, awesome. Uh, what's your favorite food? Yeah, that's a great one. Everybody likes to talk about their favorite food. Um, and then what's your favorite cuisine? Okay, so that's a little bit different. Cuisine is the type of food. So Indian food or Japanese food or Mexican food or Brazilian food, right? So those are cuisines, but that's a great word. Uh, could you recommend me a good restaurant? Good. So let's just say, Pilar, could you recommend a good restaurant to me or for me, to me, for me, recommend to me, recommend a good restaurant to me. And so you just have to change a little bit, recommend a good restaurant to me. And that's a great question because that person maybe is more familiar with the restaurants in the city. Uh, is it okay if we talk about our food style, vegetarian or halal? Sure, if the person's interested, right? So I'm not going to start talking about being a vegetarian too much with somebody who I know loves meat and hamburgers. But if I know that person is also eats halal food or is a vegetarian, then we have that in common and we have a lot to talk about. So it is okay to talk about it if that person is interested. All right, I hope that helps. I've just um... Oh, good question. What's your favorite Canadian food? Would anybody like to answer before we go into our discussion? My, I don't even know, like what is Canadian food? Um, there are a few Canadian foods like poutine. What else is Canadian? Um, here in Halifax, it's Donair, so a special type of Donair. Um, I like garlic fingers. Has anybody had garlic fingers? I love garlic fingers. They're more of an East Coast type of food, but I love garlic fingers. Uh, Ebtisam loves poutine. Okay, great. Uh, that's awesome. This was fun. So... And then here's a few other questions you could ask. What's your favorite food? What do you usually eat? What's your favorite cuisine? Do you like to cook or bake? And those were the questions I thought of. 
All right, we've got 15 minutes. Who wants to join? So this is kind of different. We're going to talk to each other face to face if you want. Before you decide to join, I've got three rules. rules. One is to be nice. Two is to have clothes on, right? No, no nudity on, on Facebook. And the third thing is to mute when you're not talking because there is a situation if too many people are on at the same time, it gets really noisy and it's hard to hear. So I'm going to copy the invitation. I'll post it here. And if you guys can copy that and put it into your web browser, and you should be able to join if you want. Um, we'll see how this works. I might have to kick people out if there's too many. Um, let's give it a shot. I know before Christian and Pilar joined a live stream and it was really fun. We've done it a few other times and hopefully we'll get a few people and we'll just have a little small talk practice. And it's kind of nice to, to see some of your faces because, you know, sometimes I don't really know who I'm talking to. But if you don't want to have the camera on, that's okay. You can keep your camera off. I have no problem with that. All right. Uh, yeah, wear clothes. Okay. Uh, no, you don't have to install anything. It's all through your browser. I see Beatrice is here. Beatrice, is, I'm going to let you in in one second. Um, yeah, you don't have to install anything. It's just through the browser. I think if you're on like an iPhone, Safari works. Um, Chrome also works if you're on your computer. Okay, I'm gonna bring Beatrice in. Hi. Hello. This is great for me because my pronunciation is the worst. So it's gonna yeah. help me a lot. <laughs> I don't think it's the worst. You sound pretty, pretty good to me. Thank you. So how's everything going, Beatrice? Really great. We are so excited. Uh, we are working really hard in gathering all the paperwork they are asking from us. It's a lot, but we're getting there. We are getting Sorry, there. I'm just going to mute you, Christian, um, because, yeah, you can you notice some echo when more than two people are talking. There's a bit of an echo. Um, so, yeah, what's your plan, Beatrice? You're planning to come in the next couple months, I guess? Uh, no, I believe we should be there by June uh, for the okay. summer. Yeah. My husband is a chef, so he's joining the team uh, in a Mexican restaurant. Oh, great. And, yes. yes. Yeah. So um, we should be there by summer. That's I what see. they told us. And I think that's where we are going to. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So, what about you? What are you going to do while your husband is cooking? What are, what's your plan? Oh, definitely. I, I will try to work. Uh, the original plan was me studying in Halifax and he uh, with an open work permit. Okay. But then we received the job offer um, in Vancouver. So we, we decided to go to Vancouver instead. But yes, uh, the plan is that I work also. Mm -hmm. And what's your what's your field? What what do you do? Well, I used to be in hotel management, and I work in Cancun in Riviera Maya. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I'm a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, would yeah. you like to work in a hotel or something? In no, in I don't have the time anymore. Okay. And I know in Canada it's different, but yeah. hospitality is really demanding. And it usually is not an eight hour shift. So I don't have that availability anymore. Um, so. Okay, great. Uh, let's just welcome a few other people. So I'm gonna unmute Christian. I'm gonna mute my... And teacher, I can hear you. Sorry, I was muted. I was <laughs> muting myself to get rid of the echo. Um, 
So yeah, let's let's just have a little small talk. I'm going to mute myself and you guys can talk about whatever you want to talk about whether family work it's it's totally up to you, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to mute myself. Okay, well. Um now I'm I'm here working. Uh, well, uh, I I'm working late because it's Past, uh, past six here in Colombia. I'm working uh, at, at my lab. I'm a biologist, a marine biologist. I'm um, doing some research uh, about well, some animal, the animals that live in the bottom of the ocean that calls poly polychaetes. It is uh, uh, it's, uh, like worms. Mm -hmm. And w well, my wife and I, uh, we both are studying English because we want, we want to improve our our pronunciation, our our, uh, our communication skills, and we're thinking about to maybe this or the next year to uh, move to Canada to start studying. Uh, doing so, maybe maybe I'm going to try to start my PhD. And my wife, uh, well, uh, she she wants to to start some uh, computer analysis and geographic uh, information systems. So mm -hmm. she's studying. She she is participating here in this course also. Great. So we are we're trying to to do that uh, thanks to to the teacher Ian. Oh, thanks. Uh Hopefully you're saving your money because it's really expensive for international students here in Canada. So if you have a lot of money or scholarships or something, it can be doable, but yeah, definitely make sure you're- Yeah, yeah, I know we will try a scholarship because <laughs> yeah. paid um, by ourselves is too, too difficult, we know. But we, well, Colombia and Canada, Especially uh, um, uh, Halifax. Uh, well, uh, the university there mm -hmm. has a, um, I don't know how to say it, um, well, a, a relationship, an, an interchangeable uh, students program. And sometimes yeah. this I think university. It's like that, an exchange. They call it yeah. like a, an exchange yeah. program or something like that. Yeah. And sometimes when when we are a scientific researcher, we we can go there and start a, a project, and maybe that project can finance your PhD. So okay. we are we will going to try that to do that. Great. Okay. Awesome, Christian. Thank you. And I want to welcome okay. Lorena. So I see Lorena's there. Do you want to unmute yourself and say hi, Lorena? Yeah, of course. How's Hi it everyone. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, nice to hear I, your voice. You know, I, I just see your little Facebook picture and <laughs> yeah, it feels it feels good talking for real. Yeah, I'm trying to turn uh, on my camera, but it it's kind of thinking I'm on my cell phone, so sorry for yeah. that. <laughs> well that's okay. Yeah. Great. Uh yeah, so maybe you want to tell us a little bit about your yourself, Lorena, and your situation. Uh, of course. Well, I am Mexican. I'm from Mexico City. I arrived here in, in, in Halifax on, in January. <laughs> so I've been struggling with, with the weather. <laughs> yeah. How's uh, the weather for you? Like, was it a big shock for you? Yeah. Yeah. It's insane for me. In, in Mexico City, it doesn't snow. So it was my first time <laughs> not just seeing the snow, but... Uh, the first the first week I I I been here, well the first week I I was here it was a storm, and <laughs> the power went off and oh. <laughs> it, it was horrible. I I was very scary. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But did now you have, like did you have an apartment before you came, or did you stay in an Airbnb and then find an apartment? So what did you guys do? It, yeah, that's right. I, I I arrived to an Airbnb. I I was in an Airbnb for one month, and then I now I have a roommate. And we have an okay. apartment. Yeah. yeah, and I'm here because I'm doing a master degree, 
Uh, as you were were talking, <laughs> it's kind of expensive, but you you can, Christian. <laughs> there are a lot of scholarships there, and well, I I, I save during the pandemic, <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, I guess um, not going out or traveling for a couple of years helps you to save a lot of money, right? Yeah, that's the only good thing I, I can I can say about the pandemic that <laughs> I, I could save money for being yeah. here. Yeah. Um, what What was your topic? So what are you studying, Lorena? You said you're getting your master's. Uh, yeah, I'm studying a public relations. Okay. Yeah. Great. Awesome. So you guys can unmute yourselves now. We'll see how it goes if we're all talking at the same time. Um, okay. And yeah, you guys can ask each other questions. Don't, I'm not the teacher right now. I'm just having a chat with you guys. So feel free to say anything you like. Well, I, I'm, I'm willing, um, I want to say to Christian that, that I love his career. I was born in Isla Mujeres. Thank you. And Quintana Roo. I have been there. Yes, it's beautiful. And yeah. The diversity, uh, the the sea life, the that you find there is is beautiful. And my brother, my little brother, he wanted to study marine biology, but well, life happened, and now uh, he he he's a fisherman. Uh, at the moment, he he's oh, a okay. fisherman. He has a business and he, yeah, but uh, I thank admire you. very much what you do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. What, yeah, what is your you know. specialty? Uh, do you, do you dive or you do more like um, research? What what is your special specialty? Well, well, I work in um, in a governmental uh, institution. It is like. Um, it is like a Coast Guard. But the, well, there is two branches here. Yeah. It is a, like a civilian branch and a military branch. We actually have a um, uh, Coast Guard. But it is to focus on, on security, arm security, but we are like, we are more civilian, okay? So we, we research, uh, for example, uh, invasive species that come in the, in the, in the vessels. Sometimes uh, they bring uh, water and there came uh, uh, invasive species. So we try to Like the research. lionfish? Like, like the lion feeds, for example, or, or other or other uh, invertebrates. Invertebrates is the is the, the most complicated ones. So we we try to do research uh, about uh, about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is great. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Awesome. I just want to welcome Iptasam. She she got on. So welcome Iptasam. How's it going? Thank you, thank you. Hi, everybody. Hey. Uh, so just so, tell us a bit about yourself, Ibtisam. I know we don't have too much time left, but yeah, yes. what's, what's your story? So I'm Ibtisam, and uh, I came here uh, in Canada since one year. Uh, and uh, uh, I was dealing with uh, some personal uh, stuff. And uh, now I'm uh, looking for uh, opportunities to work. So I have to improve my English, and I'm working on that to have uh, to have a job. Great. What kind of job are you thinking about, Ibtisa? Uh So in my country, I was uh, a medical representative. I'm French speaker. So uh, I'm uh, I'm looking for uh, I'm looking job uh, in uh, uh, in uh, sales field. So I know it's based uh, on communication. So I'm trying to improve my English uh, to be a perfect uh, bilingual. Great. Uh, don't worry about being perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect. You don't have to be perfect. 
you Thank just you. have to be good enough to, to yeah. be able to do that job in English. So yeah. sounds like you're on the right track. Sounds like your English Thank is you. pretty good already. So keep working on it, right? And, and I know you'll reach your goal soon. Thank you so much. Uh, I have just uh, one question, uh, if, uh, if I can, please. Sure. So yeah. it's my first time uh, with you. I uh, just want to know uh, um, how, how you are doing this uh, session. Is it, uh, uh, it will be regular or I just want to know more, please. Uh, I think Christian can answer that. He's been a student for quite a while. So I'll let Christian explain when we have our classes, how it works, that type of thing. Okay, okay. Christian. Okay, teacher. Well, we have, uh, well, the, the schedule is uh, two times a week, uh, Mondays and Thursdays. Uh, well, uh, 5 p.m. here in Colombia and 6 p.m. there in Halifax. I don't know where you are in, in Canada. I'm in where Ottawa. I'm in, in, no. I live in Ottawa. In Ottawa. Uh, uh, what time is it in Ottawa right now? Now it's uh, 6.30. Six, ah, it's the same here in Colombia. Uh, I don't know. Is the same in Halifax? No. Uh, it is 7.30 here. So it's our classes ah, one hour. are 6.30 until 7.30, usually yeah. Halifax time. So that would be 5.30 your time. 5.30, yeah. 5.30 uh, Monday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, Every week. it's pretty regularly, you know, if there's a holiday or something, we might cancel the class. But, yeah, I'm trying to do two weeks or two days a week. Um and then there's also the English expressions. So every day on our Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, you can learn a new Canadian expression. And then you can go to Facebook and we practice. And you can use the expression and chat with, with other people in the class. So that's basically okay. what we're doing at this point. OK, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so does anybody you are else doing have any great. questions or topics you want to talk about before we go? No, I, I want to say, um, I know it's not a question, but I want to thank you because this is a great opportunity uh, for us to speak because usually we don't, we don't get that chance. At least here in Merida, there's, some, there's no talking, uh, just listening and reading. But having the opportunity to speak, that for me is, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I mean, if people like it, we can do it regularly. Like we can try every week or so to do 20 minutes of talking. Um, and yeah, I think if it if people are happy doing it and people are interested, then then I'm OK doing that. So thank you, Beatrice. Thank you for your feedback. And if people like it, we'll do it at least every couple of weeks or so. That would be fantastic, at least for me. Yeah. And thank you again. <laughs> yeah, you're very yeah, welcome. Teacher, the, you for your... That is a wonderful idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's great as long as, you know, everybody gets a chance to, to join in once in a while, then I think it's great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, great talking to you guys face to face. This was really fun. Uh, Pilar is still watching and she said, I think she meant Beatrice's English is great. Oh, thank you, Pilar. Uh, <laughs> thank Pilar, you just, just mixed up your words a little. Just say Beatrice's English is great. I agree. You know, she's she's very humble, but I think her her speaking is excellent and her pronunciation is excellent too. Oh no! Thank you. Thank yeah, you. I agree. I agree. <laughs> your your English is excellent. Yeah. Thank well, uh, the, the first thing that we have to lose is the chain of, of committing mistakes, and uh, and that is, for me is the hardest part. So you're right. I, so I I know that. I keep uh, committing mistakes, but well, sometimes I, I said, "Well, what the what the hell?" I ha I have to to commit the mistakes in order to improve. 
it is not other way to to start talking. So feel free to correct me. I, I don't ashamed anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Please, please correct me. <laughs> please yeah. correct me. It helps me a lot, yeah. and I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Pilar said it's an excellent class. It's nice to see the students, and I totally agree. It is very nice to see you guys. And Sukaina said, "Nice to meet you guys as well." Same way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice so, to meet you too. Thank you guys so much for volunteering to come on. And if I ask again in a week or so, hopefully you'll want to come on again and get some more practice actually speaking. And I think it's good for the people watching too, right? Because yeah. they get to see you and, and see how you're you're brave and you're you're practicing your English in front of people. I mean, maybe there's you know five, 10, 15, 20 people watching. And, you know, after you do it a few times, you don't feel so nervous anymore, right? And it's it's a big step in, in learning the language. So I commend you. You guys are great. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you. And I'm going to let you guys go and wrap up the okay. live stream, okay? Thank you. Okay, teacher. Thank, teacher. Thank, you guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Teacher. Okay. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. Nice Bye -bye. to meet you. Bye. Hasta luego. Okay, that was awesome. Uh, so again, thank you so much. If you came on, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you next time. Uh, so we'll have a class on Thursday, 6.30 Halifax time. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.